Hey guys, checking in with you to share some updates that I have about Sarah. Um, many of you asked today how you can help, and so I'm hoping that I can give you that information tonight so that you can make some plans to assist the family. Uh, before I let you know that, though, I, I want to share some things that I learned about Sarah since this morning. I knew Sarah to be this happy, uh, grateful, humble, joyful spirit who always chose to look at the positive side of things and who loved Duluth and adored her students and cherished her girls, her four girls. Um, what I didn't know was that Sarah had a really, really tough life. Um, several of you today who are very good friends with her reached out to me to share with me some of the stories about who Sarah is and was. And I also got to talk to her brother, James, this evening, who shared some things as well. Sarah lost her mom as a toddler um, and had some difficult, difficult challenges that she had to face in life. And as a young adult and an adult, found herself in situations that many of us would have just kind of given up in. Um, and she never did. And um, she pushed through and she got herself educated and she got herself employed and she got herself in a position where she could succeed and take care of her kids but she did it despite things that were constantly thrown her way. If there was ever a model of persistence, Sarah Jackson is it. And in a year when we've talked so much about persistence at our school, um, it's, it's lovely to be able to use her as an example for what persistence looks like. Um, her brother, James, came in from Oregon today to help get things in order and told me that he wanted you to know that Sarah had a tough life, that she was a fighter, that she persevered, that she persisted, and that she would have done anything for her four daughters. And in the end, that's exactly what happened. She died saving her youngest daughter, and so she is a hero. And those were the words that James wanted me to share with you. So it is a privilege for me to be able to send that message from him. Um, he's got a lot of work ahead of him and he shared with me some ways that we can help. He has to establish guardianship of the four girls and, and get things settled in terms of uh, scheduling services. And then he's got to make some big decisions about what comes next for the girls and for the family. Um, what we can do while he's doing these logistics is help in, in one of three ways. The first would be cash donations. Um, those can be made to the DMS PTA account on Venmo. So you can just Venmo at DMS hyphen PTA. And if you'll put Sarah in the comment, the PTA will save all of those that are earmarked for her or intended for her family. And they will give that amount to James and the girls. The second way that you can help is by providing restaurant gift cards. Um, the PTA is going to feed the family fresh homemade food tomorrow. But James said that sometimes there's so much food that it goes bad and that the girls sometimes have some picky um, tastes. And so having just restaurant gift cards um, would be the easiest way for him to get them fed sort of on the go. Uh, their favorite places are Chick-fil-A and Chipotle, but of course any thing would be appreciated. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Moe's, Zaxby's, um, and then of course Publix, Kroger, those types of cards would also come in very, very handy. The third way that you can help is one that we don't think of very often, which is basic household supplies like paper towels, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, um, and even hygiene products. Um, James is now going to take care of girl, four girls ages 9 through 20, and there are plenty of items that they might need that they no longer have their mom to help them get. So things like hair, hair products, razors, um, deodorant, um, feminine products, those kinds of things would certainly come in handy and would save some, some trips to the to the pharmacy. Um, so if you can help in one or more of those three ways, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and if not, we certainly appreciate your, your prayers and your good thoughts. We have three Duluth Cluster students 
that are going to need a whole lot of love and support. Um, one of them is our very own in sixth grade. So we have some sixth grade teachers who are going to need some love and support. And we have some of Sarah's really, really close friends in the special ed department and in the eighth grade hall that are going to need some love and support. I said today that now more than ever, we need to take care of one another. Um, and I mean that if, if things weren't rough enough before today, they certainly, it certainly came to a head today. And the only thing that matters is taking care of our neighbors, taking care of our students and taking care of ourselves. So thank you for being wonderful. Um, and for, um, just being Duluth strong and loving one another. Uh, let me know how I can help. Let me know what you need from me and um, we'll get through this together. Have a good night.